students across the Southland will be staying home and turning to their computers to learn. But distance learning can feel isolating and stressful. Joining us this morning is Dr. Karen Rogers, a clinical psychologist with Children's Hospital LA. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. So how do we know if our children are stressed? Children feel stress in a lot of different ways. Young children especially show changes in their behavior that reflects their stress. And it's important for parents to remember that what looks like bad behavior on part of children is often an expression of being upset or stressed. And how do we know if they need more support and what are some of the options during the pandemic? So uh, children may need more support than families can provide to them during this incredibly difficult, stressful period. And you might notice that a child has more difficulty doing things that kids need to be doing <clears throat> to, to grow up to be healthy. So more difficulty playing, more difficulty learning, more difficulty eating and sleeping, making, making relationships. And those would be signs that a child might benefit from mental health support which is available for children even during the pandemic. There are many therapists who are doing therapy remotely through telemedical health. If we don't think that our child needs therapy, but we, just a little extra TLC from us as parents, what do you think we should do to help kids who feel anxious about distance learning? It's important for parents to open the conversation with children who might know how to bring it up themselves or might not really be aware that they're feeling the stress. So raising the, the discussion with children calmly and casually about how they're feeling about going back to the school online, I find it's often helpful to, to say to children that there are many children feeling worried, feeling sad, feeling comfortable about the online school startup in the fall. I wonder how you are feeling. It opens up the conversation in a way that feels less like a test or a quiz to kids and makes it more just a normal conversation that people have about their families. Yeah, Karen, th I think you're bringing up something that we try to say, oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be fine. But does that close off that conversation with kids? Absolutely. I think using open ended questions with kids rather than yes or no questions. Are you sad? Are you how are you feeling that that pulls for more open uh, dialogue? Parents really want children to be okay. I think most of the parents I've talked to are very concerned about the impact of this on their children's well-being. And the impulse to reassure is, an, is a loving impulse, but children do need us to give them the opportunity to talk about what's really on their mind. And, it and what are ways that they can make social connections? Because over a video screen isn't the same as in-person connection. Social connection is really challenging for all of us. We're all feeling that difference, adults and children. It's particularly difficult for young children who don't understand screens and have the experience to um, interact with others through, through screens. So I do know families have had some creative solutions about forming um, quarantine pods or quarantines um, including another family, perhaps, with young children in their um, social distancing bubble to give children the chance to play together. That requires a lot of discussion and planning and honest communication between the adults to make sure that that's something everyone feels comfortable with. Or look for opportunities for children to socialize with other kids in a way that is safer. So perhaps outside, social distancing, riding bikes, for example, or skateboards where children are naturally wanting to be right close physical proximity, but can call to each other about what they're doing. Those are some possibilities to give children more of a sense of connection. All great ideas, Dr. Rogers. Thank you so much for joining us again and great to see you. Thanks for having me.